Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm going to show you how to decorate cupcakes without any special tools or equipment. All you need is a quart size zip top plastic storage bag, some scissors, and some scotch tape. All right, let's get started. So again, you don't need any special tools or equipment. Just take a tall glass and grab your quart size zip top storage bag and just kind of open it up into the glass like that. This is gonna make it much easier to fill. I'm using canned frosting, but you can use whatever you like. It shouldn't be too stiff though. And we're going to add the frosting into the plastic storage bag. So I just did, I don't know, maybe a half a cup or something. So you're gonna to wanna to squeeze it into the corner of the bag. You can use your hand like this, or you could use a bowl scraper. Flexible bowl scraper works really well to squish the frosting into the corner. Okay, so that's what you've got. And then you're going to kind of twist it so it's nice and kind of firm on the end, on the tip. And then you take your scotch tape. We're gonna take six pieces and we're gonna kind of fold them around the tip. What this is gonna do is reinforce the plastic bag so that you can have a nice firm tip when you are cutting it and then when you're decorating. Just work your way around and you want to make sure that you get the edge of the scotch tape right to the tip of the bag. Can you see that? It's reinforced, it's very pointy, and now we're going to take scissors and I'm using just these tiny little scissors. If you had something like this, that's okay too, but you're going to get a smaller cut with the finer scissors, the tinier scissors. And before I cut, I'm going to press the tip flat because that'll help ensure that the frosting doesn't come squishing out all over the place. So I've got that and I'm just going to start small. Okay, so let's try that. There are so many different designs that you can get from just putting your frosting in a zip top bag and cutting the tip. Um, you're going to get a different shape even if you hold the bag differently. You're going to get a different kind of a shape which is fine. But this is a great technique because again, you don't have to get special equipment. You don't have to buy um, you know, pastry tips, pastry bags, and you don't have to wash those, which is nice too. Pretty cool, let's decorate some cupcakes. All right, so we're gonna use yellow and we'll do some squiggly lines. Squiggly lines are very easy, that's all you're doing. Back and forth, back and forth. You could do three different colors or two different colors. Now we'll add some sprinkles. All right, we'll try some hearts on this one. And you can do multiple decorations on just one cupcake. When you're applying the frosting, the amount of pressure that you put on the bag um, should be firmer at first and then release as you lift up. And that's gonna give you that nice tip. Here's another fun thing you can do. Take two different colors or three and you're gonna put them all together in one bag for a really cool two-tone look. So take an empty plastic bag and you're going to um, make sure the hole is, you know, not super tiny. It should be, uh, you know, like maybe a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to fit this into the corner of a clean bag and just press out. I find it's easier to get into the bag this way. And then you're ready for your second color. And just kind of squish that in. So now I think that's going to work out just fine. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, that is so pretty. Lots of creativity with these cupcakes and with this way of piping frosting. We used a zip top plastic bag to decorate all these cupcakes. Look at the beautiful, unique designs. You don't need special tools or equipment, and it's really fun to do with the kids.